Yeah, hey, let's let's talk a little bit about the switching I use for the active targets. What I wanted to be able to do is that if he's, say, for example, fishing on the Potomac River, the James, more than likely he's not going to need the active target. So we want to make it convenient to be able to turn those units off to minimize the pinging going on so the fish nearby don't really hear it. You're also saving a lot of power. Okay. So I've seen a lot of configurations where you have the active target wake up wire plugged in or basically tied into one of the units so when that unit's turned on your active targets turned on that's okay but you may not always want to do that okay the other one I've seen is that some people actually put it on switches in the console again fairly inconvenient I mean now you got to run to the back turn it off and then come back up and go back fishing uh, the other thing on Rangers, I've used the accessory panel. Camus is not very easy to do that. But you, it can be done, but it's, it, most of the accessory switches are actually tied into the live ball pumps, at least, at least on this boat. But on the Rangers, I use the accessory switch to turn it on and off. But that only works for one unit. This boat has two active targets. Okay, so what I did is I went over and I got a two position switch, okay, which is this switch here. And you can see they're kind of labeled. This one is the forward active target. This one's the scout mode active target. Okay. The other thing I've got on here is the US the dual USB port. If I can open this up, uh, try to open it up. There we go. You see that's that's one of the USB ports. Now the advantage of that is that you can charge your phone if you need to, or if you're running GoPros, you can plug your GoPro into this battery system. This this is the bat this is connected to the electronics battery so it's dedicated the other advantage of this type of switch I use and this this switch by the way came from Amazon and you've also got under here your battery voltage you can see we're down to 12.1 volts we've been running for a little bit right now we're running all five units we're running both active targets we're running a mega 360 we're running serious uh, actually no, not all the series is running on Pretty much we're running two network hubs. So everything is running off this one battery and it actually holds up pretty good. He did a test on the Potomac before we added the Hummingbird to the unit where we still had, where we had five units. I believe he ran for 11 hours straight before everything just shut down, which is actually not too bad. That's more than a tournament day. Maximum tournament days I've seen like 10, nine, 10 hours, basically 10 hours max normally in a bigger tournament. So more than enough full day that's actually uh, i'll show you later on it's we're using an ionic 125 amp hour battery 